Every day, millions of people get up and hurry off to work. They put in their eight hours, they pay their taxes, they trade on the market, they hold their business meetings, and they build their homes. They do all this amazing work while they are asleep. Asleep to what is actually going on. Asleep to the fact that their rights of freedom are slowly being taken away. Taken away. As long as they have the freedom to shop, to buy things, to get that big TV screen and that new car or go to a hockey game, they don't seem to be too concerned. In the last seven years since the events of 9-11, it's easy to see that the world has changed. When someone starts to make public announcements about the truth, the media is quick to label them as lunatics, conspiracy theorists, and even a terrorist. It feels to many like we live in a police state. It's time to take a closer look at the big picture. It's time to talk about what is real and what is artificial. It's time to wake up. 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 Hi discovered the deception of the capitalized name and the Admiralty jurisdiction through my birth certificate. And the reason why my birth certificate was so important is because that's when the theft took place by the bankers. The government uh, decided to uh, enslave us as collateral for the bankers with the birth certificate. As soon as you are born, the birth certificate is altered. What they did with the name was they changed the uppercase, lowercase to capitalize on it. That capitalized version then became the slave, it became the collateral to pay for the interest to the bankers. What the government did was made us believe that that capitalized artificial name is in fact us. When it is not us, it is a corporate entity. It's a capitalized version that they need in order to work with. It's, it's total deception. It's deception of the highest degree. highest degree. The theft of the family name begins at birth and is carried throughout your entire life. You are a tax slave from birth until death. If you take a look at the birth certificate, if you take a look at the passport, if you take a look at the citizenship card, if you take a look at the driver's license, you will actually see on there that it says this is not your property. It belongs to the government of Canada. Total deception. What they're doing is basically making you responsible for all of the acts and the statutes from admiralty jurisdiction in that corporate fiction name. You are conforming to the laws and the rules and the regulations that they put out for you, but when in fact these particular laws, rules and regulations, statutes and man-made acts are from a ship, they're on the sea. We're living on land. If you say that you are the slave and they, that you allow them to create that joinder between the uppercase, lowercase name and the capitalized version, then what happens is, yeah, you become responsible and you do become the debtor. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The artificial person, some people call it the debtor, some people call it the fiction, some people call it the straw man, some people call it de facto. They've said you're responsible for that corporate entity. 
if you don't conform to their rules and their regulations if you speed over the speeding limit then you did something wrong because you didn't comply to admiralty maritime jurisdiction laws so therefore you're the slave and you have to pay the tax bill on this particular contract that's issued to the capitalized name you owe them is the debtor the capitalized name is the debtor I am the creditor and I'm going to give my capitalized version, the entity that they do commerce with, I'm going to give it credit because I am the creditor, I'm not the debtor. You can define yourself differently as a natural free man or a natural free woman and you get to say in a contract, offer acceptance, you get to say I accept or I do not accept. We are creditors, we are life, we are the spirit and the soul walking on this earth and it's time that we affect a change in a positive way for the future of our children. We have a right to live in our own homes. We have a right to be free and to talk as we want to talk. We have a right to free travel. It is us that the government needs to listen to and they need to stop listening to the bankers and the gangsters. And we need to find some peace. We should operate from a higher dimension and that higher dimension is called love. It's called light. Where are you from, Irene? I'm from the light.